Halloween. Welcome to the Fat Quarter Shop Floss Tube Wednesdays. Um, just a little reminder, we're working on Farm Girl Fall by Lori Holt. It's a brand new cross stitch pattern and so um, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you some things. We're working on a little square every week, but since it's Halloween, I wanted to show you Lily. She's always behind the camera and look how cute she is. Hi guys. So Lily used to work at Disney and she was like an intern for yeah. Disney and she's like really into Disney so so look how cute she is <laughs> I didn't dress up you see how festive I am but we're having a fat crew shop like all the employees have a what is it costume, costume contest? contest so she has to win if she doesn't win I'm gonna give her my own little prize I don't judge but maybe this year I'll have to go out there and do it um so we're working on on this um, I wanted to show you uh, what my employees have worked on. So they have, um, and we'll show what I'm kind of doing in a minute. But one of our employees, Terry, is making this cross stitch in 18 count. So it's tiny. You can see ours is 10 count. So 18 count means that for every inch, there's 18 squares. She's using two threads instead of six. And that is like, oh my gosh, so cute. And I don't know, like, if you could get up close, Lily, and see, like, all the tiny, should I move forward? Like, the stitches, look how tiny they are. I can't even see those squares. There we go. So that is so cute. Um, and then she has, like, a little needle mender or something like that on there. So that is hers. And then Shelby is doing hers on the oatmeal. Uh, Lori Holt Vintage Club. And she made a pink uh, sunflower. She told me she was going to make it a different color, and it's really cute. So that's hers. And then Denise is doing um, white, which is the cloth is called Daisy. And she's kind of got her frames going. So that's kind of where we're at at Fat Quarter Shop. Um, I wanted to give a big congratulations to Cora Ritola. She had a baby, Presley, um, two or three days ago. She's a member of our Stitch Squad, and that baby is gorgeous. When all my babies came out, they had like red splotches all over them, and like you don't even want to know. They just were they were just not pretty when they came out, and that baby is gorgeous. And she um, is a member of our Kimberly Stitch Squad. So if you want to see the baby. Um, she's on there. Her name is Presley. And um, so I guess we'll start um, and we'll talk about like at the end next week and everything. So I did want to say that on Thursday when I'm at Quilt Market um, in the afternoon, I'm going to have a short for my YouTube members, a sneak peek of a product that is going to be available um, a couple days or a day or two early for so sampler members and my YouTube members so watch for that we don't have like a set set time um, and I wanted to show you this this is straight from Terry who works for us and I'm sure we're gonna sell out of these today but we have more on order it's called needle storage tubes the SKU if you want to search is Dritz 812 I think it's really cool um, she came in the office and showed it to me and I kind of looked at her funny because I didn't understand it so you get three of these in a tube it's not expensive and so she came in and she did this to me and i was like i don't get it i don't understand i kind of looked at her funny just like that but it's cool it's so she explained she had to explain it to me there's a magnet i guess right there and so you don't ever lose your needles they just kind of stick to the magnet and then what she did was um she used a pen and wrote the size we're using size 24 bowen um so i thought that was kind of cool so that's just kind of new and exciting. And of course, you know, it comes with pink, aqua, and orange. And of course, I have the pink. So let's get stitching. So today I'm going to kind of turn to the side in a second so you can see what I'm doing. Just to kind of summarize, this is the pumpkin. I turned my heart was red and I turned it orange. I kept the sunflower the same. Today we're doing the acorn. There's some gray in the acorn, and I'm just going to change them slightly, um, just because I don't love the gray. And then next week, I 
my son is having surgery, so I'm not going to be able to do a live stream next week. So next week I want um, y'all to finish all these three, and then y'all pick the one y'all want to do. Um, tell me below so that I can stitch it at the same time and Lily. So y'all pick the one that, um, that you want to do. And then I'm going to just kind of turn to the side and just show you so you can see my stitches. Can you see up close? So um, when I'm stitching this acorn, I'm going from the top to the bottom. And they're just four by four um, stitches. So um, Lily's gonna try to show us up close so that people can really see, because some mm -hmm. beginners weren't sure how that worked. When I start with these threads, I'm starting with shorter lengths than I normally would. And when it gets kind of tangly, I just let it um, go. We're stitching on 10 count vintage cross stitch cloth by Lori Holt. Zweigart, I'm, I know I said that wrong. That is who made it, so it's a good quality. On one side it's modeled like this, and one side it is not modeled. So I use the modeled side. Um, it's really um, pretty. It comes in three colors. This is oatmeal. She's got burlap, which is a darker brown, and daisy, which is what Denise is stitching on, which is white. So you can see I did that. Now what I'm gonna do is on the back, I like to keep my back really clean. Um, that's part of my OCD perfectionist. I don't ever like my threads to um, stick out. So I'm gonna run my stitches under four stitches from before, and I always keep the same color together. So you can see when I finished my yellow, I went under the yellow. When I finished my pink, I went under the pink. Because you don't ever want um, your threads from another color to peek out. So I'm gonna pull it through, pull it a little tug, make sure that my last stitch looks okay, and then trim right where it will come off. Now I have a little bit left. I'm probably gonna keep this. I'm using the Aurifloss B Basics box, which um, is Lori's. And so, Sorry. that's right. So I will wrap the red that's left over just on my spool. And let's see, the next color is 5009, which is orange. So on my orange, I'm just cut a, I'm just cutting a little bit. And um where you cut it is where you do not want to put the needle. So you want to put the needle bef at the one where it started, and then where you cut is where you want the thread to be down here, and that's the way the thread runs. So I'm gonna to try to show you how to start again. You always want your X's to go the same direction, so I start that left to right, I guess. I'm going to try to keep my thread where I can go over it and see I have a little loose thread there I'm going to pull it off where I can um, go over it probably two to three times so from here I'm just going to pull this under and then go over the stitches that secures it. I never put knots in my cross stitch because when you frame it you might get a little puff on the front. And I like the acorn because it's got lots of colors. You can be creative with it. Like you can see like this this was supposed to be gray and I turned it red. Anytime I make a project, I don't want to say anytime, um, but you know if I'm making it as a gift for somebody I'll just probably make it how the pattern is. But if I'm going to keep it I'll usually change one tiny thing in it, whether it's quilting or cross stitch, so that it's uniquely mine in some way. Um, it gives me a little bit of creative control. And so you just keep going. So what do y'all, what do you guys want to talk about? Do you have any questions? What are y'all dressing up as Halloween? 
Um, this morning we had a big meltdown because one of my sons was like, where's my Halloween costume? And I was like, I don't know, you're going to school, you're not wearing it, I'll find it later. So um, We do have a question from Maria. She says she wants to know about the YouTube membership. Is it a one-time $4.95 or would she be charged on a monthly basis? So Lily is going to answer that because Lily knows all about YouTube members. Also, she said thank you, and she'll be praying for your son's surgery, as will a lot of other people. Oh, thank you. It's next Wednesday at, we're not sure of the exact time. We're going for his pre-operation appointment today, but um, yeah, I'm, yeah, it's, I'm nervous, but we'll see how it goes. Um, and then in regards to YouTube membership, um, it's charged on a monthly basis. It's $4.99 a month, um, and that price is 100% decided by YouTube. We did not set that price. Um, but you basically get, like, cool badges. Like, if you're in the YouTube chat, you can see some people who are members have, like, a little chocolate bar next to them or a little pumpkin next to them. Um, and we change those out like they're going to get Thanksgiving ones. Um, and it's going to be really fun. They also get like custom emojis. Um, but the cooler things are the free patterns. We give out free patterns occasionally. Uh, we also do exclusive live streams with Kimberly um, where she does sneak peeks. You can ask her anything basically. Um, and then coupons and discounts, which uh, members got a coupon this week. So it's good stuff. And it really helps support everything we do here. Yeah, and we totally appreciate everybody who's a member. Um, I know there's been some technical difficulties with it. Um, we have communicated all of that to YouTube directly, um, but it's kind of a new program for YouTube, so that's why there's kinks. Yeah. So again, I've, I've finished that little section, and it's pretty quick, and I'm just gonna do the same thing, run my, run my stitches under, and then I'm gonna keep this little piece because I can use it again. Um, lots of people were wondering what the quote behind you is. The quote behind me is from the Martingale book called I Love Nine Patches. We sell it at Fat Quarter Shop. Lily can link it below. I sewed it about two or three summers ago with Lori Holt in a hotel and it took me forever. So it's three different sizes of um, nine, nine patch blocks put together and the fabric is called Gooseberry by Vanessa Gordson for uh, Moda and I happen to love her fabric and pink and aqua are my favorite colors so it is perfect for my office. So the next color we have is aqua and you can see from my oops my box I haven't used all the colors yet um, but some of them I've used more than others. The brown I'm getting pretty low on the brown um, Lori did say on her, when she made it, she started with a fresh spool and she had plenty. Um, so just be really careful when you put your frames in that you save all the scraps. And if you run out, like for example, if you ran out, like if you did all your frames and you ran out, you can just change one flying geese to a different color. Or like I'm going to make the turkey brown instead of gray and I'm going to change that brown and that brown just because... There's a lot of brown already, um, but that's the good thing is you can do whatever, do whatever you like. All right, so we got a couple things here. I know some people on Instagram were saying the chat is in the way of um, showing your work. Um, for Instagram, if you just swipe on the chat, it goes away. Um, and then other people are asking if the winners for the sweep sweepstakes are posted yet. They were emailed out. Um, we give the winners, hold on, I just threaded the wrong color. So let me get myself together. Okay, so we emailed the winners, I believe two days ago. Mm -hmm. uh, 11 of them have responded. We give them a day they have to respond by. The prizes will be mailed next week, but the winners have been notified. The sweepstakes coupon has gone out, and we will be posting the winners on our blog next week. Um, I don't remember the exact date, but it will be next week after market. And then somebody had a question about the uh, cloth. Do you think I could use oatmeal Ada 14 count for this project? Yes, you can. Okay, so let me see this one again at the bottom. So this one is 18 count, and this one is 10 count. 
So it would be exactly in the center. So it would be a little bit bigger than this one and a little bit smaller than this one. But yes, you can use it on any kind of cloth. Um, you can get cloth at Joann's. You can get a uh, picture this plus does hand dyed um, cloth. You can, you can do whatever. And that's the great thing about cross stitch is it's not an expensive hobby. Quilting is an expensive hobby. I don't think cross stitch is expensive at all um, because you save your thread and you can, you can, um, like for example, I made a little top typewriter project and I changed the colors completely. You can just have a lot of fun with it, customize it to your house. It's very relaxing. My sons play a lot of sports. Baseball is, baseball is actually ending this week, so I will, um, not have baseball anymore, but um, it's fun to do when football's on. Mm -hmm. We watch a lot of football in my house. We watch college football, not so much NFL, but um, I usually, like last week, UT played. Um, my husband likes UT. That's where he went to school. Um, but like at nine o'clock, I literally go to bed. I'm like, I can't do anymore. It's so sleepy. I literally just fall asleep at nine o'clock every night because I get up super early. But market is coming up, so we are all leaving for Quilt Market in two days. And um, so on our Instagram feed on f Friday, okay, so right there you see that a little knot formed. Can you bring it a little closer? Mm -hmm. So what I'm gonna do is just take my finger and it just makes it go away. If you don't pull on it, you just kind of gently and then you just pull it through. And that happens all the time on the front and the back. Just an FYI that um, the knots easily come out. And Donna was asking what size is your Q snap frame? So I have an 11 by 11 square and we sell those at Fat Quarter Shop. They also have them at Joann's. I will say, I'm not gonna say the brand, but I have purchased different brands that are not Q-Snap that look the same, and they, um, they just, I feel like they will ruin your project. I really do prefer Q-Snap, even if you don't buy it from us. They have it at Joann's, they have it on Etsy. Um, it's a great brand because when you need to pull it off, it comes off, I don't wanna, I don't want to take it off, but it's really easy to come off. Sometimes if you get them, they're the other brand, they just stick and then you try to pull it off and it stretches your throat, your fabric. So I highly recommend Q-Snap. Some people like embroidery hoops and like I say in quilting or anything else that I do, do whatever works for you. If whatever you like is what you should do um, because you will be happiest when you are having maybe control or you get decisions. So, um, that would be what I would recommend. Oh, so I was talking about Quilt Market. So we're gonna go to Quilt Market on Thursday. And Thursday we will have pictures of different schoolhouses. Schoolhouses are where people stand up and give presentations on new products. We will show a couple of live streams. Is that on Friday? That's, oh yeah, that's on Friday, sorry. And then on Saturday, we will have um, be buying at Quilt Market, and we will have posts on both days, uh, Saturday and Sunday. So Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we will be showing all kinds of new quilt products. Um, we will also be going to the Cross Stitch show in Nashville in March, so we can show new stuff there too. So you can see how relaxing it is. Now I've got these done. Can you hold it up one more time? Beautiful. Trace is asking you use your little finger to tighten the thread. Yeah, so I just pull, I just pull with my regular, um, 
And so I have this much green left. I will save it. We did have a few questions um, that were sent to us beforehand. Okay. Um, the first one was, does our floss need to be separated like DMC does? Um, on this six count, I'm not separating it at all, and I have had no troubles at all. DMC, I do separate. Um, if you're doing DMC, f this Lori recommends four count, four stitches. Sorry. So what you do, um, I can just show you what we what you would do. Um, I have not had any problem with our floss at all. But let's use um, let's use this. So, embroidery floss has six flosses, and what you would do is separate them. You would just pull them out, keep them in the same direction, because your, your thread all goes the same direction, and you just pull. It does take extra time, but I do think for DMC it is needed. It is something that I usually do, but with six count, I'm not. So you pull them apart, and then you literally put them back together in the same direction, but pulling them apart, um, I can't explain exactly why, but it does help. See how they go back together straighter? It's not so curly. So if this was DMC, she's calling for four strands. You would just put them all back together in the same. I've kind of got mine all miss out of order, but you would keep them in the same order. And then you would just thread and you see how straight it becomes. It's not so tangly and it's supposed to keep knots um, from forming. I think also with what we're working on, we're working on 10 count. And I think that with 10 count, you're doing much bigger stitches. So, um, sorry, I'm trying to do my next. You're doing bigger stitches, so you're less likely to have knots. Let's see. I'm using a new color. Um, so, but you know, like if, um, so like on Terry's piece over here that's 18 count, you would definitely separate your, th your, your thread. You would only be using two count. You would use a different size needle. Um, right now I'm using a 24 tapestry cross stitch needle by Bowen. Bowen is my favorite brand of needle for anything, binding, cross stitch, anything. Um, Bowen is what I use exclusively because I think the product is amazing. They, um, it is, as a vendor, I can say it's much harder to get. It's from France, but it also just is not in stock with the vendors as much. Um, we do try to keep them in stock at Fat Quarter Shop. Okay, so now I've lost my needle because I'm talking and running my nose. So I'm just going to get a new needle and then, oh, here it is. Um, okay, so what's the next question? Lily, was there another one? Uh, let me see. Okay, so now. Well, the other one was any tips on working with uh, DMC once you've separated it, but I think you answered that. Okay. Um, there's um, also, for cross stitch thread, there's also Cosmo, which I love. It glides like butter. They don't have as many colors. It's by Lucian. Um, I love that floss also. I like Aura Floss, I like DMC. There's also hand dyed floss um, that gives beautiful look. It's not it's not really my thing. Um, I don't like the variegated look. But um that is super popular. Super, super popular. So and, cr and cross stitch right now. Like weeks dye works. I mean it's it's amazing stuff. It's just I don't know, it makes the project much more expensive. Um, Carolyn was asking, I began this project using four strands of DMC and my crosses look like blobs. Any hints on how I can refine my stitches? So I would kind of say like if they're blobby, just kind of 
straighten your thread like that each time and as you go just kind of make sure it looks good before you go to the next step if you think it's are you use if you're I mean you could always go down to three strands if you want um, I don't think all of my stitches are perfect you know um, some of them get blobby I kind of go slow the one thing I do not do is I do not do this kind I'm gonna do it just so you see but this is what I do not do and a lot of people do I don't do that where you do two stitches at one time because I feel like that makes um, your thread tangle and it's kind of just I don't know makes your stitches tighter too Uh, Jillian was asking, can you use burlap to cross stitch? I'm sure you can. Um, Den Denise, who works for us, is using Essex Linen for a um, tiny modernist Christmas cross stitch. I think she's lost her mind, and I told her that, and I know she's watching, so hello. Mm -hmm. um, but you can. Um, I just, uh, for cross stitch, I like to be able to see the squares evenly and I also wear bifocals and have really bad eyesight so uh, you can really do anything you want that's the whole thing about crafting is you can do whatever you want but yeah you can use anything you want um, and if you were just gonna do a pumpkin or an acorn I could totally see using um, something like that for a project this big I think it would be really hard to kind of keep all the the stitches even Um, Shelly was asking when starting a new thread what do you do with the ends without making a knot? Okay so I will show you that again in a second and then Lily can um, zoom in. Zo yeah that zoom in. So you can see on these I'm not separating my thread at all and when it gets tangled I just let my needle dangle. It's much easier to use cloth this big I think it's um I think it's also very cute. This will make a cute, um, in the pattern, we have instructions on how to turn it into a pillow, and this is the pillow. So um, this is the pillow that Lori made, and there's instructions on it, and the back is an envelope pillow so that um, you can wash your pillow. Um, it's beautiful how it came out, I love it. Um, it's gorgeous. So um, one of the tutorials at the end, I'm not going to give measurements, of course, because the measurements are in the pattern. Um, and I'm not going to give away Lori's uh, stuff, but um, I'm going to show how you put it into a pillow. But you can frame it. You can do anything. I made this one just like one little block and just got this little frame at Hobby Lobby. It's not like the perfect size. It's not even the perfect color. I just thought it'd be cute, like at home. I can just put it out. Um, but I was kind of just testing the thread and the cloth because I had never used it before, before I just started this big project so that I could make sure that I knew what I was doing. That's funny. Jillian says, Kimberly, you are a trendsetter. Now I'm going to cross stitch too. Oh, that's so funny. There's been so many people that are cross stitching now. Um, it is such a trend. And so I'm excited to go to the cross stitch show because that's always been kind of on my bucket list. Um, so super excited about that. And um, let's see. So the next color is pink. So I'm going to start. We'll do this. Let me get this one ready. So this one you can see that I already saved a piece. And I like the um, RF, like like this one, I'm going to run low on. But I use this on this project over here first. So you have plenty. I just use extra on that. But um, these are super cute when you're done. I'm going to maybe put some fabric on them and use them as decor. So um, I will be showing you guys that also. Lily will remind me. But yeah, when I'm done, you can kind of use them as decoration. And the DMC kind of gets all messy. Um, you can put them, we do have a new cross stitch notion coming though that is going to help with that. We'll be here soon. Okay, so we're going to start the pink. So, so Lily's going to zoom in and I'm going to try to try to be still. So 
so you tell me when to start. Mm -hmm. And you can see better on the YouTube version. Mm -hmm. YouTube or Facebook, they're the same. Because um, um, she's using an actual camera instead of a phone. So what I'm going to do is on the front, I'm going to pull up into the little square that I need to start so I can see where I'm at. And I'm going to go across so that I know that's what I'm doing. I'm going to go to the back. Do you want to hold it up a little closer to us? I don't know if you can like do that and yeah. Like this? Perfect, yes. Okay, so now I've got this little tail. I would like the tail to be a little bit shorter. I'm going to do the next stitch. Pull this tail behind, and this is not as hard, it's just I'm holding it at a funny angle. And I'm stitching over. And I just have done this so long that I know how to do this, but you just stitch over it so there's no knot. And these little tails at the very end, you know, if you're not careful, they'll go to the front. So you just want to keep them nice and flat. And that is how I start my stitches. And you can see I've kept all the little squares nice and neat. That comes with practice. So that's kind of how that looks. Beautiful. And then when I go to the front, my stitches all go the same way. And kind of you can see I did the same thing on like these little browns. You can see um, how I've covered stuff up on the back so there's no knots. You know, when you first start, it doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, nothing really has to be perfect. Um, I'm very OCD. I'm very like... I like things the way I like them. I like the shoes in my house to go where they go. I like, I'm very particular about things, um, about everything in my life. That's just my personality. Um, but when you cross stitch or you quilt or you craft, do whatever you want to do. Like, whatever makes you happy. If you're back, you don't care how it looks, do whatever you want. One time I, I will tell a funny story. I used to be in a group of quilters like, probably four, it was probably 16 years ago because it was before I was married and um, there was this lady and she's, oh my gosh, she's so funny. Her name is Rain. I haven't talked to her in years. She's from Houston and she was a teacher from Baytown and she had this quilt and the back was like a hot mess and I was horrified. I was just like, oh my gosh. And she was like, oh, I don't care. It's just a gift, whatever. And I mean, she had such fun doing it and that's kind of when it taught me like, do whatever you want to do. Like, Nobody's going to see it in the end, but if you want it to be perfect, make it perfect. If you don't want it to be perfect, don't make it perfect. I will say when I make um, baby gifts or something that I know is going to be like used a ton and it's not going to be like, you know, hanging in my office or used, you know, used on a picture for one of the books we publish, I won't. I will spend, I will do a much less accurate baby quilt than I would if I was making something that's going to be photographed and shown on the blog and the website. So I do the same thing. All right. And somebody had been asking, I, I misplaced it, so I don't know who, but the cross stitch show we're going to, is it open to the public and where is it and when? Um, it is not open to the public. It is in the first week of March and it is in Nashville. You have to have a tax ID and all that stuff. But all the things that they show you can find on, you know, your local cross stitch store. You can um, one, two, three stitch, everything cross stitch. There's a lot of cross stitch stores. Um, we will be bringing cross stitch into our site. Um, but in a very different way than other people do do it. So um, we will be trying it out. Let's see. Okay, I just made a mistake because I'm not paying attention. So this one, I need to go in one stitch. So I'm going to take this out and kind of show you how I do that because that will be an up-close shot. course when I'm on camera sometimes the needle doesn't thread these are my favorite scissors 
They are OmniGrid yellow scissors. I use them in everything. I literally have like 10 pair, but they are super sharp and they will cut you like crazy. Yeah, a few people in the comments were talking about how much they love them. Yeah, they're awesome. They're very expensive. I mean, I will say they're expensive, but they're, you know, they work. Um, you can get cheaper scissors, but they're not gonna work. Um, Linda was asking, can Lori's Orifloss be purchased as an individual spool if you run out of a color? Yes, you can. So all of the colors we, we carry in stock. We also have this little Farm Girl Fall Pack, which has 13 colors versus the 20 in here. Um, so it's cheaper and it just has these, but um, we didn't have that ready when I started. Okay, so on this one, we need to go in one stitch but I'm not gonna just pull my thread down because I don't want my thread to poke through on the front and have pink underneath where it shouldn't be. So I'm gonna try to show you up close what I do. So we've got this. And can you hold it up from the front again? It won't blurry. All right. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm not gonna stitch here, I'm gonna stitch one under and over oops let me get this let me get the stitch in and then I'll show you I'm gonna do two I'm gonna kind of do the thing that I said I wasn't gonna do but I'm gonna do that but I'm gonna flip it over and instead of just pulling let me show you what will happen there if I pull this thread down like just like that you can See that thread right there in that square and my OCD in me does not like that so I will pull this thread under here pull it up and now it has moved my thread let me yeah it has moved my thread over so that in the front, you do not see um, that color underneath. And since it's brown, you know, you probably wouldn't see it as much. If it was white, you definitely would see it. I just, um, that's just something I do with all my projects. Um, we did have one last question here. Um, Deanna was asking, is there a release date for Lori Holt's Christmas cross stitch patterns? And will you continue to add cross stitch designers uh, that you will carry? Yes, so Lori's cross stitch is being cross stitched by me right now, so it will be out when I finish it. So I am rushing to finish it so that we can get it out in a couple of weeks. Um, Got to get it photoed, proved, all that stuff. Um, it is amazing. It uses blocks that are in the new vintage Christmas book. I'm gonna go ahead and put my needle up. Um, in the new vintage Christmas book, um, it's very pretty. It does use the same box so that if you had this from this project, you can just use it. She's only using one color extra, which is a Santa face, which is a flesh, because there's not a flesh in here um, that would work uh, along with the cheeks. So um, if you've used, if you've made the farm girl Happy Farm Girl, which is behind us, or the Farm Girl Fall, you will have a lot of the colors already. We're gonna sell the spools individually. Um, so did y'all pick? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this one. And then next week, I'm gonna finish another square so that we can all stay on track. So can you guys pick which, which one y'all think I should do? Oops. So that when we come back, we will all have ours done. Oh, so waiting for replies to come in if anyone has a preference on what we want to do and then um just a reminder i'm going to be at quilt market this weekend if you follow us on fat quarter shop on instagram and facebook that's great we will also be posting some videos to youtube and if you want to contact me i will be on kimberly stitch squad i will say Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, I will probably not be answering questions um, because I will be working all day and I won't be um, online. So y'all be good and positive and no fighting.
I'll, I'll delete y'all if you if you fight but yeah no um i just won't um i don't want y'all to think i'm being rude in any way i think we have the most votes right now for the crow okay perfect so i'm gonna do the crow i am gonna keep the aqua and the yellow and the, the gray but i might change his wing color um just to be different um and then wednesday in two weeks we will start the i will go ahead and start the leaf and um, as far as adding other cross stitch designers, yes, we will be. We will always be a quilt store. So the cross stitch that we bring in will have the feel of quilting. Like this has the feeling of quilting. Um, so I've got some tricks up my sleeve, um, some things I'm working on for, um, they might also be seasonal. It would be something that a quilter would like, um, something to appeal to our customer our customer base that we already have. So um, thanks for joining me guys. And I hope y'all have a wonderful Halloween. It is supposed to rain here. So I'm crossing my fingers. It doesn't rain while we trick or treat. And um, I will be seeing my members only on Thursday. So y'all have a great day.